From the birth of a nation comes the continuation of an infestation of action. QAW's pandemic is live from our nation's capital once again. Mike Mann here with Buckley Swan too. How you feeling, Buckley? I'm feeling great. We fell into the swamp and we just can't get out. And we made DC our temporary, well, we like to stay in our cities for two weeks, but yes, it's great to be here for another week of pandemic. Our final one hosted solely on our Quarantine Action Wrestling Twitch channel. We make the move over to 2MB starting next week. Yes, we are very excited to join 2MB Studios as they are growing much like the chances of a vaccine, which would put us out of business. Please don't, but actually definitely do. But we got a shit ton of action coming up with an opening fatal four away match. Four people, one winner, pinfall, submission, love, friendship. Again. You know, I'm still waiting for that kiss, QAW. Cause that labor pains, I got completely fucked. Starting right now, I am declaring war on all QAW. I'm gonna win this fatal four way. I'm going to embarrass everybody in that match, especially Tommy Jr. Don't think I forgot about you and what you've been saying this whole week. I'm going to rip you limb from then at the end of the night. I'm gonna beat Lloyd Legacy Sharp. Become your new QAW World Champion. No matter where you go, I will always love you. Cut! Check the gate! Great job, KTD. One take as always, Mr. Diaz. Let's move on to the next setup. Alright, alright, J Law. Okay, I'll call you later, baby. Kisses. Smoothie. Alright. Coming to you live on set from an undisclosed location. I, KTD, take a second out of my busy and lucrative schedule to address the QAW universe? Universe. Universe! To talk about what will be my second day at work. Ah, second day at work. You remember yours, right? Probably still really nervous, weren't you? Probably still walking on eggshells, making sure to leave a good impression. What will be my second day at work will certainly end in me being crowned the fastest rising QAW men's champion in history. Because I, KTD, will be bringing my brand to the number one contender's fatal four-way to face that night my second day at work for the QAW championship in the main event. What I was meant to do. Now just last week, I have shown what I can do in record time. And this week, no matter who my opponents are, the title is good as mine. I was born to do this. Shiny things, remember? I say you're welcome in advance. I'll take my thank yous now. Huh. J-Law, baby, one second. Let's get brunch. You see, you can't be the future face of the greatest group of wrestling talent and not look the part. And that's what I am. The future face of the franchise. The future QAW champion. The future of wrestling. And the future looks great. is in the building. What will it be like to kick your monkey ass? I'm curious, whole hey, the winner of this match goes again, that makes this fatal four-way foreplay. I'm gonna serve you up hot and fast, you can have it your way. At the end of the night, I'm gonna grab that title and be out the fucking doorway. KDT, eyes on me, I know you're new here, but pies home, please. I wouldn't address you unless you seize, wouldn't suggest you to step to me. I would guess that in a mess you need. Haha, <laughs> TNG, let's go with that. I don't know why, cause you're the new guy. Bye bye. Sure. TNG, the new guy, the new guy, the new guy, the new guy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna catch you later, Lloyd. 
see you tonight. Also, I already know I beat you, Diamond David, but you're still stupid, stupid. <laughs> sip, sip, bitch. Love you, mean it. Diamond David defies me by not putting me in the fatal four-way match. First of all, he said I need three people to step up. Who was the first one there? Me, because I deserve the shot. I'm the one gunning for Lloyd. Then, he personally excludes me and adds a fourth person who also isn't me. You know what that isn't? That is not the real deal. Coming into the rumble, number one, baby. And I'm leaving, number one, baby. I will see you guys at the rumble, and you will all be sorry, and you have nobody to thank. But Diamond did. Chump. <laughs>
Hashtag sip sip if you want to support Juicebox in tonight's Fatal 4-Way. Hashtag Punisher if you think Kevin Paquette's got the edge. Hashtag KTD if you think that the man from, well, not Mars, but Hollywood, a man who lives among the stars is going to take it. And of course, hashtag the future if you think a brand new Rich Dembowski is going to be the winner tonight. Throw up those hashtags, throw up QAW hashtag, and tag 2MB Studios, and hey, tag me, Buckley Swantoon. If you follow uh, Buckley Swantoon's OnlyFans, his third tier, he will send you some of the clothes that he's had sex in. Absolutely. But look at that. Wow. Rich Dombowski, uh, a new a new look. And yes, as you just said, Mike, uh, now now referring to himself as the future. It looks like he's uh, look, taking on a new attitude here in QAW. As the shirt says, the future is here. The jorts are gone and Rich Dombowski is here for... My gut, my goodness, a championship opportunity. Yeah, throwing out the jorts is a bold move. Uh, his signature piece of attire, much like how my signature piece of attire is the beret. You know, I'm really trying to make that work. And uh, I can tell you that this new look for Rich, uh, he's making it work too. We'd like to thank Penguine for introducing us to his own design of raspberry berets. Go ahead and head on over to qwmerch.com forward slash Penguine if you'd like to look like arguably the most alluring man here in QAW. We'd also like to thank our other sponsor for tonight's show, Bang Energy Drink. Have you been to the gym ever before? Eat a Bang Energy Drink, you sack of shit. Hashtag sack of shit, which is not a trash bag, which is not Rich Dembowski anymore. God, not a trash bag at all. This is a bag full of just, I mean, fierce fierceness look at that spitting the water everywhere he's getting the ring all wet certainly is and we do remind folks that we do not sanitize the ring after every match it is a petri dish of so much emotion and viruses absolutely that's how we create such drama here in qaw the best kind of drama doesn't have a recipe it just happens we were approached by medical experts after one of our pandemics asking, how is it possible for a uterus to become sentient and pop out of a person without killing either one? And well, it's that ring. Yep, that doctor was banned from the premises. And then reinstated. We love you, doctor. <laughs> we do. Look at that Rich Nambassi just soaking up, uh, soaking up the crowd's reaction. He's really just really hamming it up here. And he's, he's making a statement as he stands in the middle of the ring looking all of his competitors in the face he's he means business certainly does again that hashtag the future if you think rich dambowski's coming out on top hashtag ktd hashtag punisher hashtag sip 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 and will and wilford kicks us off and we understand that later later tonight a familiar face to the referee stripes is going to be making an appearance Absolutely, there are, there are rumors circulating, but certainly what's going on in the ring here, immediately KTD in the future, uh, heading to the outside, and KTD immediately going after the, the, the big man here in uh, the future. Oh, twisting on prettier to the outside as the future eats half an ice cream sandwich as the Punisher spills to the outside. You can't say enough about KTD. He, 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 may, he might be the smallest competitor in this match, and he's known for his high-flying ability, but much like his, his acting range, his, uh, his assault range is even wider. Certainly is. A lot of innovative offense we're seeing from, oh, Eye of the Storm there from KTD. Now Juicebox working over Rich Dembowski. Oh. Back suplex grounds him. Hammerlock. Russian leg sweep from KTD. Impressive. A lot of technical acumen there. I mean, like wrapping up your opponent like that, it's just enhancing your moves and all of this stuff. They're just in the corner, just piling on top of each other. Little little Tommy there in the pink shirt is going nuts. Tommy capturing all the action from his flip phone. Now the Punisher working over KTD. We'd like to thank uh, Motorola for sending us all of their Juke model phones. All of our roster now is able to send text messages by sliding phone. Oh my God, and speaking of sliding, kids, he was sliding across the ring there. One, two, no. 
Wow. It's a sli sliding penalty kick, which did in Don't Touch Our Nuts, but KTD proving to be very game against the Punisher. That's the move that put away Deton in like less than 10 seconds at Labor Pains. Punisher is trying to end this fast, which is a smart move. Again, in a fatal four way, the first competitor to score a pinfall or a submission victory will win. So you can lose this match without getting pinned. Certainly can, and the Punisher is now dissecting KTD for having the audacity to kick out as Juicebox. Oh, spinning Saito Suplex grounds Rich Dembowski, who hasn't even gotten out of the blocks yet. I mean, he's the well, there he goes right back in. Juicebox throws him in, but when you're the biggest competitor in the match, that makes you a target. All these, all these smaller guys, you, you got to chop down the redwood before you can get to the roots. Certainly do. Oh no! KTD's arm's been dislocated. Oh my god, the Punisher he, earning that name. Uh, looks like he was able to pop it back in and actually strikes with that arm as... Oh! Juice box has been busted open! This is brutal, folks! What a show to, to already start off on! And look at this! Now, KTD put in the Punisher and the overkill driver, the OKD! OKD cover! Juice box misses. Or doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> Will Willard wasn't really clear on that one. <laughs> I think he ran away from the blood there. Willard, you've been, here, you've been with us for months. Willard has been known to do some unconventional refing, including touching the heads of our competitors, um, trying to subscribe to only fans of Delia Payne, and we just we prefer that he keep his head in the game. Not known for keeping his head anywhere other than just the gutter, but I mean he, he's trying to focus here. Now KTD just perched on top of that turnbuckle, could not get a move out, and Juice Box going up at him. Juice Box now up on top here. Could be a superplex coming up. Yes, he scores Ooh. on KTD. Plants that A in the middle of that A in the ring. Certainly does. And folks, if you like what you're seeing here, use that hashtag quarantine action wrestling to get people oh Ooh. excited for moves like that. A deadlift German suplex. And speaking of, we have deadlift making her debut coming up tonight. Very excited. One of the biggest pickups in QAW. It's a new season. The roster expands and deadlift is just a legend out in the indie circuit. Now she's part of QAW with a cover. One. Two. No. Juice Box with an opportune cover there. You see the Punisher and KTD were taking a breather on the outside as Rich Dembowski is unfortunately still on the receiving end of so much punishment. Ooh. Crossroads from KTD borrowing something from one of the most famous wrestlers in the world, Cody Rhodes. Now the future still, I mean, showing off why he's the, the, the biggest man in this match, tossing around Juice Box and KTD perhaps trying to fly. No, okay. <laughs> Big ticket. Attitude Ooh. adjustment. Sneak it in. One, two, no. Juice Box showing some of that amazing resilience that handed Diamond David Thomas his first loss on pay-per-view. If there's, if there's one person in this match who who I don't see getting pinned, it's Juice Box. His ability to eat all that punishment. He was thrown off the top of a truck and survived, but now the Punisher following up again that GTS into a penalty kick. Total punishment cover! And broken up immediately by the future. And Juicebox, oh! Takes the Punisher down with another back suplex, and now Rich Dembowski by the head slamming KTD. I mean, this is smart stuff from all of our competitors. You, uh, Punisher rolling out to get some space, and now oh, look at this! Juicebox looking to tune up the band here against the future. Ooh! And it, he lands a tour stopper a la Lloyd Legacy. One! Broken up at one! <laughs> really? I really thought Willard was going to take that hit there, there, but he manages to avoid it. Well, sometimes it's the hits you don't see coming that, oh, hurt the most, but Willard spared for that moment. Now, Juicebox being worked over by the Punisher. KTD's on La La Land. He's out on his feet. I, I mean, perch right over the Punisher. He has a chance there. No, okay. Kicking him right in the he side. Sure did. KTD passed over for the leading role in La La Land, beaten out very narrowly by yeah, Emma Stone. That would have been Ryan Gosling and KTD. That, 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 that's a pairing we have yet to see in the wonder of cinematic Wonderland. But now, I mean, the, the future trying to do a fancy little insecurity there. But look at this, now KTD setting up. Look at him lift the big man in the OKD. OKD, 400 pounds getting compressed right on the back of that vertebrae. One, two, no. Rich Dembowski showing some of that strength that's allowed business casual to make their splash in the tag team division. You wonder if the Dapper Headclapper is watching intently backstage.
as, as well as Road Rage, the three of them have, have been working together uh, for weeks now, and it, it did not earn them the men's tag team titles, but they still are forced to be reckoned with backstage. They are they are racking up wins, and now with the if they had the men's championship with them too, that that still just more stock for them. Ooh, running in Sigiri from the big ticket, reminding us all that he's not just a muscular face. Oh, the KTD. <laughs> Looks like he's, oh, trying to work over the shoulder, but yes, there is an elbow right between the ball and socket joint of that shoulder. Oh, and grounds him with a DDT. Good thing he has such a muscular face there, absorbing the impact. Now just a Magna Claw squeezing in that trapezius, and down goes Wilfred. <laughs> there, he, there he is. Punisher hitting him in the back of the head. Wilfred is out in the corner. But now another GTS is he's going to follow it up. Juicebox is letting it happen. Penalty kick. KTD effectively taken out of the equation. And now, oh, an inverted figure four, but there's no one to count the submission. And KTD's other arm. Willard's still out, but now wake, making his way back to his feet. Punisher's covering. One, two. Juice Box says his eyes were covered in blood. He got disoriented. He couldn't break up the pen. He either, it seemed like he tripped over the big ticket there. He was too busy celebrating. But now, yes, the Punisher picking up a victory, pinning KTD. The Punisher will now face Lloyd Legacy Sharp in the main event tonight for the QAW Men's Championship. My goodness, the Punisher more than game to pull double duty tonight, as were the big ticket and Juice Box and oh. KTD with a lot of innovative offense, but also ate a lot of innovative offense. The Punisher continuing to dominate here in QAW. Well, I can't take anything away from any of these competitors. Four of our strongest singles uh, uh, com competitors in the men's division here. And Punisher eking out a victory, but don't go anywhere, folks. We have a full show coming up. And right after this, uh, it's the debut of the legendary Deadlift. Don't go anywhere, folks. QAW, catch the fever. Please.